Hey guys, I have just woke up preparing for the exercise that I am doing today and preparing to eat breakfast and I was just thinking about yesterday and the things that I said yesterday <clears throat> and I once again realized why blowjob is such a brilliant choice of a choice to give for the organizations women to redeem themselves and compensate for me being physically abused sometimes severely tortured like in the case of Emma Watson reduced to a level of a lowly slave, an animal, or a lower life or f form, and severely humiliated for them. I will tell you why. Why also I think that it's a brilliant choice, other than it being a choice that allows them to show physical submission in my favor to make me feel good while not sustaining any pain or suffering or damage whatsoever themselves. And if you think that it's humiliating in any way, well, it's not because it's not like something like maybe an act of exploitation at work, for example. It's a legitimate thing of one person pleasing another, especially since I am the one who was mostly humiliated severely, like I said, reduced to a level of a lowly slave an animal or, will, or a lower life form than a human, in their fervor. So the humiliation is really mine. They are not being humiliated, they merely show some amount of submissiveness and also goodwill, showing that they are willing to lower themselves down physically, like I said, show some physical submission as an act of goodwill towards me to show that they would not accept starting <clears throat> a relationship with me from the unfair advantage, advantageous position in which they were put. That they were put into some position of a master, of a, of a god and a queen, that I, like an animal, was conditioned to serve. So that not only I would not want to start a relationship 
from that position that they would not accept it either so to even even the grounds they would show at the start submissiveness towards me as an act of goodwill to even the scales and start the relationship in that way from a relatively even ground of how both sides are treated for each other. And you see the, the reason that I thought about today's morning is that generally as far as I know if a girl woman whatever if a female likes a man then at sometimes she may be even willing to give him blowjob uh, on her own way without him even offering asking for it just because she she's really into him and she wants him to feel good And my point is, is if a girl likes a man, then she's supposed to have no issues with giving him a blowjob. And, and I do expect girls, women, females, when I say girls, I refer to females. I expect them to like penises and also to like sperm and to want both of their, those things in their mouths. Because I think that, that's the, that that should be natural for a normal girl that seeks relationship with the man and one who likes men to begin with that she's supposed to like penises and she's supposed to like sperm because women eventually get inseminated one way or another it's like an inevitable fate that women have and that they are supposed to enjoy it, to be inseminated in any part of their bodies, they are supposed to love sperm. Just like men love inseminating, women are supposed to love being inseminated. And if they don't, then it's, a not, it's not a normal woman, then she doesn't really like men. And perhaps men wouldn't like her that much because of that, because she, 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 she doesn't, she doesn't like men at all. If she doesn't want, if she doesn't like cocks, if she doesn't. I mean, I once read a, a comment on Reddit, something talking about about sexual organs. And one girl commented that she personally, personally finds, finds penis to be disturbing. Well, perhaps she's the one who is disturbing. What kind of girl doesn't like penis? It's not a normal girl. She's supposed to like penis and she's supposed to like sperm. Otherwise, she's not... She's, she's not a normal girl and she doesn't like men. And that's one of the reasons 
that I chose, chose this particular act. That not only it doesn't cause the girl any harm or suffering, it merely asks her to show physical submission, as in the submission of her body, as an act of, of goodwill. But a normal girl is actually supposed to enjoy giving head, especially if it's to a guy whom she likes. A normal girl is supposed to enjoy sucking cock, and yes, especially if she likes the guy. Otherwise, she's not a normal girl. There's some kind of a problem with her, and uh, I don't want her. Just like uh, a problem with the body is, is unattractive, uh, a problem with the mind is also unattractive. I want a girl who is attractive both in body and mind. And when I say mind, I'm not saying that she has to be particularly smart. I mean that her mind is supposed to be like a girl should be. Like I said, she's supposed to like men. She's supposed to like sexual stuff. She's supposed to like both being pleased and pleasing. She's supposed to be like a normal girl. She's supposed to like penis, balls, and sperm. If she doesn't like the, this stuff, then she's not a normal girl, and, and I don't want her. So, first of all, it's a filter between normal girls and girls who are not normal. If you don't like penis balls and, and you won't give a blowjob to a man, or, or won't enjoy giving one, then you're not a normal girl, then, 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 then fuck away, I, I don't want you in my life, I'll find, I'll find myself a one who is a normal girl, and, and if you don't like me personally, then also uh, fuck off, I don't want you in my life either. Either, What's the point of dating or meeting with a girl who, even if she like looks really good, but she doesn't like you? Well, no point. No point. Yes, you, you can look good, you can smell good, you can talk nicely. But what's the point if you don't like me? Uh, and like, if, uh, if, if you don't care about me to the point of uh, not wanting to compensate it for me being humiliated like a slave and animal for you. That's what I'm trying to say, that I expect the other person to both like me and uh, care about me, at least. Obviously, she wouldn't care about me yet as, as a person of a long-term relationship because we hadn't been in one, but at least care about me as a human being after being told about the things that, that I was made to to go, do go through, especially for her and all of the women from the organization. So I want to see that both that she likes me and, and that she cares. And also that she's a normal girl that likes penises and sperm. And like I said, that she likes me. So what I'm trying to say here is if the girl is a normal girl who likes penises and likes sperm and also if she's a girl who likes me personally then not only she would not have a problem with the blowjob thing she would even enjoy it 
and she would mo she would want me to receive pleasure. And she, if she either doesn't like me or doesn't like men in a sexual way at all, or like maybe she likes them them only selectively and that she likes penises, but for some reason she doesn't like sperm. If she 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 has mental problems like that, then then she is unwanted and will not be accepted. It's it makes this act a very good filter between good women and bad women. And you know, women who like me and care about me at least to the level that you care about a normal human being. And those who don't, those who are heartless and, and, and the evil women, women who are cold as ice and, and they are bad women, I don't want them. And on the other hand, if they are good women, they would, they would only enjoy the act. They would only receive pleasure themselves from pleasuring me. And that's what makes it such a brilliant choice.